white sweaters, and it's good to see number 16 on the ice for Ohio State if you're Steve Rollick. It's Quinn Creston opening things up with a little possession. It's Blake McLaughlin. Brodzinski, the long shot. A brief rebound there from Doba. She quickly pounces on it. Takes the initiative. Nice little breakout pass there from Justin Close. McLaughlin to Walker right across. Oh, and Jakob Dobish just gets a piece of it, and they score on the rebound. Didn't take Minnesota long. It's Blake McLaughlin, and they get to Dobish early. Be on top of his game tonight, and just all he did is just a little poke there by Jackson Lacombe behind the net. Looked like the Buckeyes might be able to crawl after a nice save. O'Connell wax it. Cherimetta, that pass anticipated by Sorensen, but still gets through to Gustav Westland. There's Perbix chopping away. Kept alive by Ryan O'Connell on the point. Bad angle shot is wide. So this is one of the better lines last night for Ohio State. There's passes picked off by Westland. On to Travis Trelor at the line and over to Singleton. Returning to Trelor. Bad angle. Justin Close cradles it against his chest. Brett Pitlick sees a lot of Ohio State sweaters in front of him, so he peels back. This is Ryan Johnson. Oh, quick one-timer. Dobish the save. There the initial drive from Huglin. A little earlier, Dobish makes that first save, and then he, he almost swatted that puck with his club down to the ice and put it on to... Lucius is stick, but here's Jackson Lacoe and Bob Le Mosco thought he was maybe his best player last night. He didn't have a point number two on the blue line. And Gustav Westland now starts the attack for Ohio State. Will Rydell touch pass there. Tree Lore, look out. Tree Lore is in. Tree Lore shoots. Oh, what a save! Well, Justin Close hasn't had extreme tests like this that much this weekend, but he passes it with flying color. Brian Johnson. Short-handed. Watch out. Crookshank bursting in. Shoots him. Just getting a piece of it there with the goal pad was Dobish. He's going to make that save when he sees the puck, but Crookshank just turns on the Jets and looks like he goes with his back end. He's hoping to find the five hole. He gets his head up, makes that fake. Dobish keeps his pad down. You'd think a guy like him is big and he's maybe going to open those. It's Chaz Lucius across the line. Lucius just takes it for a little skate. Kester wants it back on the point. He gets it. One-timer, Lacombe. Dobish down to make the stop. This shot redirected to the near boards. Colin Schmidt right in front to Sorensen, looking for any loose rebounds. There's Dunlap. Eric Cooley wide on Kester. It's been a long shift for Kester. Jake Wise a shot. Surprising Justin Close. Doing his thing. Maybe giving up a rebound, but always there. Uh, ready for that second chance. Ooh, jamming away at it. Justin Close had to be ready. Unable to finesse his way through a wall of Gophers. Namely, Ryan Johnson. Right in front, quick shot. Guess who? Tate Singleton with the little silly. He has equalized the score. You see Johnson gets it to Walker by the net. And I think, quite frankly, Fish was not ready. Didn't think a puck was going to come to him in front of the net. Most of the time, defensemen do not think a pass is going to come the way, their way in front of the net. Fish, I think, was looking for where's, where's Walker going to go. Unable to pass it through the sticks there. It was broken up by Pitlick. Huglin at center, flanked by Rhett Pitlick. Right in front. Dobish the save, a penalty upcoming. Shoot first mentality is kind of in the theme for these teams. Getting that in their minds. Here's Blake McLaughlin. That shot gets his own rebound. McLaughlin just won't be denied. Finally, referee loses sight of the puck. Jakob Dobish gets up a little anger. 15 seconds to go in Minnesota's power play. Under two to go in this opening period. Chaz Lucius flashing the soft hands. Right in front. Mason never shoots. He scores! 
A power play goal and a big one for Mason Nevers in Minnesota. While Lucius just kind of flips it towards the front of the net where guys are waiting, Nevers kind of shovels it at the net. The puck bounces right back to him. He's Johnny on the spot. Had that a couple times tonight. Crookshank gets a stick on it, pops right back to Nevers, and he buries it upstairs. And I think there was, wait, maybe two seconds left on the, yep. the penalty. Finally, it's Bryce Brodzinski checking him off the puck. Blake McLaughlin up to his usual tricks with Sammy Walker in front to Walker. Shoots, scores! McLaughlin to Walker, oh, and the captain strikes again. Make it 3-1 Minnesota. They get a three-on-two rush. Maroney can't get back. They actually make it a two-to-three-on-one. And Sammy Walker, he might have been trying to pass that one to Brodzinski and just putting it at the net. You see this right here. I think he's trying to put it towards Brodzinski. He would have had a tap in himself, but instead it goes kind of between the legs of Dobish and finds it. Tristan Bros, five seconds to go in the period. And it's McMord taking it away. win for USA last night. And off we go. Period number two from Columbus, Ohio. Dunlap takes it wide, swings in. Stodiker was giving him a ride from behind, and he's going to get busted for a two-minute minor penalty here. Twice. Saucered back to McWard. He shoots right on. And no rebound allowed. Ryan O'Connell, Trelor, perched along the near boards. Trelor peels off, now looking for a rebound in front. Cherimetta does, and Cherimetta puts it wide. Huglin. Brett Picklet back for it, and this is Lacombe again. Huglin walking in. Pitlick shoots, he scores! Brett Picklick, it's 4-1 now for the University of Minnesota. And the freshmen continue to shine on this weekend in Central Ohio. For the Buckeyes so far, it can't convert. And then Lacombe springs Huglin, who puts it on you know, 7 to 77. That picklick was the... And he's certainly helping the team. He gets a little help there. Rebound. It's across in time to stop that Gildon rebound attempt. Close at him. Push away a mistake there. And now it's Jackson Lacombe at center. Crookshank the low drive, and Jakob Dobish has it wrapped up for a face-off. Center. Brett Pitlick, two assists last night. Scored a cheeky goal a couple minutes ago. Take that break. Much needed power play to try to get back in sights of the Gophers. Westland, he's got the goal in sight. Justin Close the save. The rebound. Lacombe to the line, but not out. Kick back to the point to McWard. Gustav Westland. And the Buckeyes just trying to get within striking distance here on the power play. Close the save. The rebound immediately cleaned up and cleared. Tap back to Gabriel on the point. Cherimetta, Grant Gabriel, that one-timer, is blocked. Minnesota blocking a lot of shots. That's Perbix. Two huge blocks. Gabriel. Maybe Perbix can get the hat trick of blocks. There they get it through. Justin Close. Sammy Walker. Good little stick check there at center by Dunlap. But this is Brett Pitlick. Pitlick cuts, fires right at Dobish. Spits out a big rebound, but it's clear. Starting to look like his brother out there. Guzzo now attacking with Dunlap. Back to Guzzo shooting wide as Kester hurried him on the shot. Huglin missing. Pitlick with it, but Lacombe launching the blast. Take going with the hot hand at the time. They'll finally get their series started tonight. There's Huglin in front. He was denied an opportunity at the last second. I think these freshmen are confident passing the puck this weekend. Lucius, Huglin, walks, fires, and Dobish hangs with him. And then Lucius, this time not the shooter, the passer. Huglin takes it for the Gophers, and, and uh, 
Yeah, I think the nightmare scenario would be like, how do I find ice time for everybody in all the offensive situations, maybe come March when everyone's back? Starting to see consistently Jakob Doba start to get in trouble a little bit handling the puck there. He didn't turn it over, but he almost did for the second time. You know, it's the next man up. Minnesota has done it. The Buckeyes are dealing it with for the first time tonight. See, Bob's got the lean against the glass. It's that time of the game. There's close to save, and he denies Ohio State on the rebound bid as well. Spins it in. This is Mike Kester up for it for the University of Minnesota. Under six minutes to go in the second period. And Doba snares that one. Playing in the NHL, but with that style, I think sometimes the gloves might have to come off. Yeah, big, big man's game in the NHL. I think he'd fare okay once he learns, learns it. It's Tristan Bros. About 50 feet out. Casually steered to the corner by Jakob Dobish. Now feeding the points. Jackson Lacombe, nice little move. Gives to Fish. He shoots. That handcuffed Dobish a little bit. Makes the save. The wraparound attempt. Great recovery by Jakob Dobish. There to stop Grant Cruikshank. The play might have been dead, but Lacombe, great patience there and fish gets a really good shot he thought the play might have been dead there he thought dobish might have had it but he didn't crookshank takes it around the net we're gonna get a better look at the second part of this one as he tries the wrap around and you can't teach size things won't get any easier for ohio state next weekend to say the least this is chaz lucius what a move Jakob dobish answering with the pad save pitlick Winding and firing there was Ryan Johnson. Minnesota's doubled up the Buckeyes, and they just keep coming. You know, there's a reason why Chase Lucas was a first-round draft pick. Colt McWard goes for the... McWard keeps the attack alive. Tree lower down low. Gustav Westland slides it in front. Backhand shot by Tree lower, Denied by Justin Close. For two minutes to go, a little life here in the offensive zone from Ohio State. Tate Singleton rattling the boards on the four check. Westland's shot off the leg of Stoddicker and wide. Stoddicker's dumped by Singleton. That's going to be an interference penalty, I believe, on Tate Singleton. Now an opportunity to just blow the doors open on this game for Minnesota on the power play. They've struck already tonight on the power play. Moving that puck around. Now the one-timer. That's blocked at the defense. 65 seconds to go in the power play. Broses shot ricochets to the near boards. So a short power play will continue on in the third period for the University of Minnesota. But what a second period it was. Complete domination in the third period. We saw a glimpse of it with Dunlap scoring on the breakaway last night but it fizzled out and minnesota was able to close the deal we'll see if they can do it again tonight cool little reverse for carl fish crookshank is ahead here comes crookshank at the line and over flying in dobish pokes him. and it's a good thing dobish had the active stick two on one the other way led by singleton in shoots close to save and he stops the rebound but i don't think that would have counted as it appears an interference penalty might be on the way for ohio state Get a look at it here as Singleton keeps Puck on his backhand side and wants to make a quick move. Runs him over, caused the interference, but I don't know if folks kept looking, but Justin Close still made a great save. It wouldn't have counted anyway, but watch this one right here. Oh my goodness. Inexperienced goaltender, some added confidence in his game. It's a good call by our referee as well to spot that. Bros unable to get the shot through. McLaughlin still darting forward, a three on three here. Blake McLaughlin creates a rebound there. Brodzinski shoots not once but twice. Dobish the save. Brinkman in, fires. Dobish stops that too. Sammy Walker. Ben Brinkman fires it wide. Jakob Dobish is looking to keep him at four as long as he can. Nice Brodzinski, a couple chances there, and then. A shot from the point, Dobish with three good saves. Not giving up on this game, staying with it. 
They need to clear Ohio State. And he goes right up the middle to Tate Singleton. Singleton, who took that interference minor a couple minutes ago. Cherimetta tried to shoot between the legs there of Stoddaker, was rejected. Trelor fires. He did get that through the screen. It's Justin Close forced to make the save. Now it's Minnesota needing to clear. That second one, but goaltending has been pretty good. Giving up four tonight, but watch out. Chance for you right off the faceoff. Jess Lucius, this line, I mean, the, the look at they put pressure on you. Then they get opportunities there. Both guys, Pitlick, putting the pressure on Badoli, and then Lucius gets that. And Ohio State finally finds the exit. Quinn Preston now with Dunlap attacking. So that was quickly foiled. Minnesota the other way. Pitlick walks in, shoots. He scores! Red Pitlick, second of the night. Thank you very much. And Minnesota's lead swells to 5-1. The neutral zone or in the top of the circle. Preston trying to get it to the outside, and the way they go two on one, he Pitlick looks off Huglin, I think it was on the two on one. Looks him off, then a quick wrist shot through the five hole of Dobish and two rotation to begin the year. And Dobish, after a couple games, took over the goal. Let's hear a little miscommunication in across the line. Ohio State is offside. Both teams have returned to full strength. Blake McLaughlin scurries down the near side. That's a couple inches wide. A, a great all-around game they're getting from everybody involved. Singleton right in front. Wise and Justin Close keeps it out. Over two months, 15 games without losing a regulation game. You know, once that streak ends, you've seen it before in other sports where you know then you kind of you gotta collect your just zipping the puck around all weekend these guys Huglin in front there's Pitlick couldn't get a stick on it Huglin does that's stopped by Ryan Snowden who's came in relief of Jakob Dobish Lucia shooting right on by Fish to break it up under three minutes to go Fish spreads it around and Sorensen Unleashing it from the right wing boards and Ryan Snowden's come in and we'll have to see what with hats ends up tonight with Michigan Saw a shot there of two intense guys Steve Rollick and your former most intense moments in a season the rivals up at University of Michigan It's the duel in the D tonight in Detroit inside Joe Lewis Arena between hey, hey, hey. Michigan and Michigan State and the Wolverines are leading to nothing and more of this stuff it's Will Rydell for Ohio State Tough to identify who he's tangled up with. Ohio State trying to create something there from the corner off the stick there. You heard rattle the knob of Justin Close's goal stick. What? Finishes out at Little Caesars. If Michigan holds on, they will then jump back ahead of the Gophers. But it's going to be a tight race to the last second in the Big Ten. Crook shake the shot. He scores! Rattled in off the bar, Grant Crookshank adds to the lead for Minnesota. The wrist shot just kind of has some time high in the zone. Nice drop pass there. And he puts it bar down. Kind of puts icing on the cake for what is it, a near perfect week. Minnesota's number four will be. Uh, have a five-minute major and a game misconduct for clipping. So they call it clipping. Game misconduct and five-minute major for Ben Brinkman. Behind the play there. Kind of a... I don't think there's anything there. It's now won four straight, two straight sweeps. But this one against one of the best teams in the conference in the nation. Justin Close, the last final save, and the sweep is on the road for the University of Minnesota.